Welcome back to another episode of NHL 18 Los Angeles Kings Franchise. In this episode, we're going to be simulating up to the Thanksgiving deadline. I'll explain that a little bit later on. And uh, in the last episode, we took a look at the team, how we're looking for 2017. So let's actually get into some simulation here. Uh, first, we are going to simulate the preseason and see how we do. And first, actually, we are going to be uh, scouting. So let's see who we can scout there. Uh, from that league in Canada. The Canadians, man, we got to get them on our team. They're, they're, they're good, always good at hockey. Actually, no, haven't they, they, haven't, they haven't won a Stanley Cup since 1995. What am I talking about? They're trash. Canadians are trash at hockey now. I don't know. Anyway, we start off pretty good in preseason. They're 4 2. And no, I didn't see how we if we beat Calgary or not. But anyway, let's get into the real, real stuff. Anyway, first game of the season is going to be the Los Angeles Kings versus the Philadelphia Flyers. This should be a very physical game. Kopitar versus Drew. And here we go. Five minutes into the game right here. The Kings are going to turn it over in their own zone. This is not good. Camilleri loses the battle. It's going to fall to Wayne Slimmons in the slot. And he's going to fire and score. And that's going to open up scoring here for the Philadelphia Flyers. One, nothing. But the resulting faceoff here. This is going to be Tyler Toffoli. He's going to get possession. Go all the way into the zone. Gets around the defenseman. Circles out in front. Fires and scores. There's Tyler Toffoli answering right back with his own goal. Right back to Wayne Simmons. And, uh, yeah, look at that. 1-1 one, one already. Nice response there by the LA Kings. Hopefully, Toffoli can get more goals this season than he did last season because he, he sort of struggled last season. Anyway, here we go. This is Jeff Carter now, the offensive-minded forward, as you should be. He's going to send a nice pass over to Tanner Pearson, and Pearson absolutely buries it past Elliott, and it's going to be 2-1 Kings. Two consecutive goals here. Can they make it three? Camilleri says yes. He's going to knock down a flyer. He's going to skate all the way up the ice. He's going to weave, fire, and score. Michael Camilleri, the former Montreal Canadian, gets the job done as the Kings score three consecutive goals. Again, on the resulting faceoff, a win by Kobitar over to Camilleri. And he's just going to rip one. It's going to leak through Elliott. And that's another Kings goal. Four straight goals for the LA Kings as they are just destroying the Philadelphia Flyers here in the second period. Unfortunately, that momentum is going to run out as Adrian Kempe absolutely obliterates a flyer along the boards. That's going to be charging, I believe. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't get to see the call. I don't know. But just, just, just look at this hit. This is illegal by far. And, uh, yeah, he just absolutely just paced that guy. But nice job right here. It was a five-minute major. But the Kings, they're going to kill it off. Look at that. They killed it off so far. But Kopitar is going to take another penalty. He's actually going to uh, initiate body contact before he ever got the puck. That's a penalty. And here's Valtteri Filpula right up the middle. The former, the former Tampa Bay Lightning gets the job done for the Flyers. And they're still on the power play. Look at this. Filpula again. Lots of passing here from this line. Back to Couturier. He's going to get his own rebound. Fire and score. Sean Couturier, who assisted uh, Filpula earlier, gets a goal right there for himself. His own rebound bounces right back to him as the Flyers answer right back. It's now just a one goal game. Anyway, third line out here for the LA Kings. Pass to the middle to Shore. Lots of pressure here. Oh my gosh. Rebound. Lewis down low. And they're all saved by Elliott. Holy crap, what a bunch of saves right there by the Flyers goaltender. Anyway, with about two minutes left to go in this game, this is Tanner Pearson weaving in and out, and Tanner Pearson is going to score and pretty much put this game on ice, no pun intended, as the uh, LA Kings take a 5-3 lead. But Alec Martinez, he says, oh no, we're not done. Bomb! Score! Alec Martinez, the man who won the Kings the Stanley Cup against the Rangers a couple years back, is also going to get it done here in this game. What a freaking ripper! Look at this crap! He has shot power of a thousand. He just absolutely buries it past Elliott, and that's going to be an LA Kings win. So, uh, yeah, we looked pretty good in this game so far. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I saw. We saw a lot of offense. We saw a, a, a lot of a good offense from Jeff Carter, Tyler Toffoli, and Tanner Pearson, who I just can't say his name for some reason uh, today. Anyway, so those three guys, they're just absolutely, they, 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 they played very well in this game. Our defense as well played pretty solidly. And, uh, man, I, I still can't get over that shot. Michael Camilleri played very, very well, too. Two goals, I believe. And uh, same with Pearson, two goals for him. So, nice game overall by the Kings. Uh, quick, he struggled a little bit there. I, I, I guess that wasn't his fault. The defense let up some holes. They weren't perfect, but the defense was good enough. And hopefully we can continue that into the season. 6-3 win. I hope we take that every single week. So, here we go. We're going to simulate to Thanksgiving. And the thing is that if you're in thanks, if you're in the playoffs before you get to Thanksgiving or, or, or at the Thanksgiving deadline, you have a 90% chance of making the playoffs in April. So 
this pretty much tells you whether or not we want to go for the Stanley Cup or we want to tank. And as you can see right here, we are starting out just struggling just a little bit. We're going to be doing some scouting right here quick. Then we'll get back to the record here. We're five. We're just mediocre, absolute mediocrity right now. As finally we get a win. Let's see if we can let's see if we can build something. Alright, we, we we get a win there. Okay, three, four in a row, four wins in a row. And oh man, we lose to Florida, but then we got one back. Then we drop one to Winnipeg. And overall, we are 11, 10, and 1. We are fourth in the Pacific Division, which currently is not good enough for a playoff spot. That is unfortunate. Um, so technically, like I just said, I mean I don't feel like we should tank, though, because we, 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 we went on that four-game win streak. I mean, we looked pretty nice right there for a little bit, and I don't want to throw this season away too early. Uh, it, uh, I, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think, what, what we should do in the next episode, because I was thinking about maybe we could go one more month and then see you there, because if we're, if we're on a good streak, I just don't, don't want to throw that all away. I don't want to throw away the potential of just, I don't know, being good. So... I don't think we should tank yet. I think it's a little bit too early. We're about middle of the pack. I mean, we're just barely out of the playoffs anyway. But uh, yeah, I just don't want to be mediocre like the Kings have been uh, over the past couple years. Mediocrity is worse than being bad because at least when you're bad, you get a high draft pick to make you good. So yeah, again, I just don't want to be mediocre. As you can see, pretty much all these stats. Our offense is about middle of the pack. Our defense is way below average. We are, we're struggling on defense. Power play, uh, penalty kill. Again, j just pretty much about average. Uh, actually, no, our penalty kill is terrible. So our defense and penalty kill sucks, and then everything else is just average. So we're just a very average team. Mediocrity is not good. Tanner Pearson, seven goals. Tyler Toffoli, six goals. Dustin Brown, six goals. Jeff Carter, six goals. And Anze Kopitar, six goals. In terms of assists, Drew Doughty with 13. Tyler Toffoli with 12. Anze Kopitar with 10. And then overall points, Tyler Toffoli with 18 points. Anze Kopitar, 16. Tanner Pearson, 15. Jeff Carter, 15. Drew Doughty, 15. And, uh, yeah, the usual guys stepping up right now. Our nice, our core, our current core is stepping up and uh, doing nice things. But we got to have our depth players step up if we want to be a competitive playoff team. Drew Dowdy is only a plus four. Forbert plus two. Kevin Gravel minus three. Alec Martinez minus four. Jake Muzzin minus four. And Paul Ledoux is a minus four. So, uh, yeah, you can see right there we are struggling on defense. And let's take a look and see how Jonathan Quick is doing. See, again, just mediocrity. Uh, save percentage, a mediocre save percentage. I'm trying to say, uh, quick is better than that. I know he can do better than that. Quick is a quick is a god. All right, he's he's so quick. Uh, Kemper is struggling though. Oh my god, look at those. Oh, that, that goal's against average for Kemper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, tell tell me what you guys think that we should do in the next episode. I th I'm thinking we should go one more month, and if we're not in the playoffs, then, or if it's a resounding no that we're not in the playoffs, then, um, then we tank. Then we tank. Then I don't think we should tank now. Uh, I'm just gonna wait a little bit more, and um, yeah, eventually we will because again we're running out of we're running out of time with our players because they're getting older and older and older. We can't just continue to build on this team. Thank you guys for watching. Everybody subscribe, everybody go to school. Take our thumbs up, peace. I love you.